Again, updates for a number of other stories we've been following. One of them revolves around that reawaken tour. The political tour had plans for a two-day show at Rochester's Main Street Armory, a stop that drew a good deal of criticism from some in the community, also lawmakers. Today we learned that event has been called off. Natalie Kuchko joining us now in studio at the latest. Natalie. Adam, the director of the Reawaken America Tour, tells News 8 the group had been seeking a new venue over the last several months. Event organizer Clay Clark cites Macedon as its new location, scheduled for those same dates August 12th and 13th. However, a Macedon Venues Facebook page is denying this afternoon any involvement with the event. Clark says he wasn't surprised by the Armory's decision, as he says an attempt to relocate had already been in the works. Reawaken America lists several high profile supporters of former President Donald Trump, including General Michael Flynn, noted as a speaker. Uh, to me, it's a non factor. Um, we, every time we take a, a, a event into a city, we typically have to go through three or four different venues until we find one that won't capitulate. And if the armory doesn't feel that we're the right fit for them, I certainly respect them. And uh, so, I guess we've been in discussions with other venues for 90 days. I, I totally respect any venue out there. And I, I look at a, a, a venue as it's sort of like, uh, it's your house, it's your rules, it's your, you know, it's called capitalism. And if you don't feel like a, a, a particular event is right for you, that's fine. Now, earlier today, we did catch up with Monroe County legislator Mercedes Vasquez Simmons, who ahead of this recent announcement was relieved the event was canceled as she represents the district the armory is based in. Main Street Armory owner Scott Donaldson said today, quote, I believe everyone has the right to their own opinions and beliefs in response to the outpouring of concern from our community, both good and bad. I have decided after careful thought to cancel the tour. He went on to say, quote, I hope to see you all at future events here, apart from the ones who have threatened myself and staff. You are not welcome, end quote. We have spoken with the owners of this Macedon venue who further confirm they are not involved with any planning of the event. Adam? All right, Natalie, thank you. News 8 has already received a statement from Joy Wave. One of the bands who threatened not to perform at the Armory had the event followed through with Reawaken America. For more on that, particular statement. We've got that over at rochesterfirst.com. There you'll also find a statement from Monroe County Legislature President Sabrina Lamar, who applauded the cancellation.